everybody, welcome back, welcome back to Area 51, episode 39, I believe, 39, of Forgotten Figures, and this is where I show you figures that I have found new, and figures that I have found in second-hand stores. So, I got a pretty good haul of second-hand stuff, and not a huge haul of new stuff, but let's get to it. Up at the dollar store, and I found these. These are from 2018, and this is Marvel's Avengers Thanos. Um, I picked up some of this line last year, They I, I got a Captain America... Uh, Ant-Man, Spider-Man, the Warrior, the Chitauri Warrior, and uh, then I saw this Thanos. And unfortunately, he's not to scale. He's a little too small. But anyways, there he is. So I picked that one up, and the back looks like so. And these were at the dollar store for $4, so I'm not going to complain. And I think his armor and skin color is a bit off. I, I don't think it's, it's correct. But anyways, this is a Marvel Hasbro item. And then they had uh, Professor Hulk. I call him Professor Hulk. Here they just call him Hulk, but Professor Hulk. Not a character that I really cared for, but he was there. And he's heavy. This is a heavy figure. Um, but I picked him up to go with the line. I think the only thing that I'm missing now is the Iron Man. Other than that, I've got the whole works. So 2018. And these do show up at the, at the uh, dollar store every now and again. So I'll grab them if I can. Uh, then I went to Best Buy to get one of these, and I had to get one of these at least. And this is the 50th uh, anniversary Lucasfilm. This is Qui-Gon Jinn. They had Mace Windu there, but I'm, I have no uh, uh, care for Mace Windu. So I picked up the Qui-Gon Jinn. I do like the card. It's very, very foily. And of course the back looks like that. And uh, this is probably the only one I'm going to get. I just wanted one of the 50th anniversaries uh, just to say I have one. So I uh, grabbed this guy up and he looks he looks great. The, the facial sculpt is done very well. So I'm very happy I got him. And then Walmart picked these guys up. This is the battle packs, I think they're calling these. Spring loaded figure, I think they're, these are called deluxe. Uh, I think they're calling these battle packs. But anyways, Ram Man from uh, Masters of the uh, Universe. This is Ram Man, and he has the function where he can take off, and of course you can change out, I believe, his head. Yeah, he's got a different head, and he's got the sword and a couple of axes. So a battle pack. Uh, first I've seen of these. The back art looks great. There he is there. And he'll stay on card. And then I found Clamp Tramp. Or sorry, Clamp Champ. Same thing. Uh, battle pack. I'm, I, don't, I don't know what these I, I call them battle packs. It's just what I call them. And of course he comes with also an extra head. Uh, his clampers and of course it comes with a little comic on the back and there is the back on the card art there Looking pretty sweet all the way around. So glad to have found these um, You know will I go after more when they come out? Sure again. I'm not a I'm not a completist. I'm an optimist when these things show up I buy them if they don't show up. I don't buy them. It's that simple. So that's that for the new stuff not a whole lot, but uh, some stuff that I enjoyed so let's go to the um, street scenes and I'll show you some of the cool stuff I picked up there. So let's go to the street scenes. First up from 2012, we have this uh, Diamond Select Toys Rhino. And uh, I saw this guy right off the bat in the bag. And this is my favorite uh, Spider-Man villain is the Rhino. And I like that they kind of have the original look with kind of the Rhino head with the eyes and the dual horns. This guy is huge and I'm so glad that uh, somebody turned him in. I paid $6.99 for him and uh, very happy to do so. He looks amazing. Uh, I don't know what year this is, but uh, I picked this Gumby up because this was the very first toy. If you see me, saw my Instagram, you'll know that in 1964, this is the very first toy I ever hungered after was this. I was watching the TV show when I was younger and then they showed the toys were coming up for, um, you could buy them, Gumby and Pokey and I had to have this Gumby. Now being six or seven years old I didn't understand about production and supply and demand and I figured just because they were showing it on TV every store must have one. Well it took my dad six months to finally find me one and a lot of heartache and tears on my part because I really wanted a Gumby but this little green dude is the guy that started this whole collecting thing and I'll never forget even to this very day when I opened him out of the package and that 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 rubber smell and I played so much with mine he was just black when he finally uh, broke, but I had several others after this and I found this in a bag and I thought man I got to get Gumby. So there's the guy who started all of this madness right there. I'm Gumby damn it So what I'm doing here is I'm showing you two black Manta characters uh, Again, if you're on Instagram, you'd have seen the guy on the left The guy on the left is the 2014 Total Heroes Black Manta and he is missing his headgear and that's not there 
And the guy on the right is the Black Manta from 2018, and that is the new 52 uh, Black Manta. And I, I think they look really good. I, I do like, the, I especially like this one. I love the headpiece. I think it's one of the nicer designed uh, characters, super villains or villains or whatever you want to call them. But I think uh, he looks pretty cool. The headpiece I've seen for this one, and it looks a little bizarre. I, I, I don't really, I like the look of him without his headpiece. I'll just stay, say that straight up. Possibility I may find it in a bag as I go along, but uh, there we go. And uh, from 2017 is uh, from the Series 10 DC figures. This uh, is a DC Universe classic, and it is Robot Man from Doom Patrol. And uh, what's cool about this one, and I'll show you, hold on What's cool second. about this one is you can pop his uh, top of his helmet off and his brain is showing. So there's his brain. Uh, Robot Man has a brain in Doom Patrol. So I uh, found this in the bag with Black Manta and uh, figured, yeah, he looks pretty cool. And I did put this on Instagram as, can you guess who this is? I kind of knew who it was, but I just wanted to see. And of course, Ash Anakin got it. I don't think there's one he hasn't got yet, so thanks, Ash. You got uh, it again. So I'm going to show you two figures here. Uh, these are both Toy Biz figures. The one on the left, the Black Venom, is uh, from 1996, and it is the Red Tug Tongue Venom. And the one on the right is from 1997, and he comes from the Spider-Man line, and he is the Green Venom, obviously. Um, same same period, so they're kind of vintage, but I think they look really nice. Green Venom there, he needs a bit of a wash. I'm going to have to wash him. He's a little dirty. And again, I show you these exactly as I find them, uh, whether they're dirty or clean or either one. So, uh, yeah, I like them. I think they look very cool. And I did put these on my Instagram. Uh, if you're not following me on, on Instagram, my Instagram is Mike underscore area underscore 51. Follow along because I put a lot of this stuff up on Instagram before I do my, uh, my videos here. From 2015, this is the DC Batman versus Superman. Uh, gauntlet assault. Those green gauntlets are supposed to be kryptonite gauntlets. He is missing his cape. Now, I'm not sure what goes on here with some of these collectibles that I find at a second-hand store, but there are there is one guy out there that every Batman figure he had, he took the cape off of every single one. So I've sl been slowly buying up his collection, I guess, and it's amazing how the cape is taken off of every single one of these. But he still is a good-looking figure, and I am going to put him on the Batman shelf just because he is completely different. But then again, this is the Batman vs. Superman Gauntlet Assault. And I think this is from amazing. 2015. This is the blue gray yellow Batman with a cloth cape. And his ears have a little bit of a chew on them. Some kid must have been uh, chewing on him while he was playing with them. So I will just put him in the pile. I won't display him. I don't display um, uh, figures that actually have chew marks in them. But I picked him up because got to be part of the bat set once in a while so I, I grabbed this one up again 2015 blue and here's what yellow. sometimes diving in those bags makes it all worthwhile this is a 3.75 vintage at app driver from 1980 and he's in excellent shape he's not beat up bruised damaged scarred nothing uh, so again every once in a while you do get lucky and you do find a gem like this uh, vintage 1980 this is vintage uh, and I will probably put him in the at uh, the big at with the other, I got two or three drivers in there, or I might put him in uh, maybe the ATTE, I'm not sure, but I put him somewhere because you got to display this guy again from 1980. Gotta love it. Uh, from 2014, again 3.75. This is Zeb from Rebels. I did not see the show, I don't know much about the character, but it's a Star Wars character and it was in the bag, so I picked it up. But uh, there he is. I probably will just put him in the collector box because I don't have pretty much anything Rebels. I don't think I have one thing Rebels. Oh, I do have one thing. Maybe I'll put him there. I'll see. Anyways, that's Zeb. Again, another, you know, another nice uh, 3.75 find. Always looking for these. Uh, from 2014, this was debuted at the 2014 San Diego Comic-Con. And this is the Star Wars Command figures. This was for a game. I think there was three different sets you could get. And uh, they had little remote controls. Uh, this one had the um, Millennium Falcon, these guys, and some of the, the droids in the back, and of course General Grievous, and the little, uh, I don't know if that's Kylo Ren, but anyway. This was part of a game, these are game pieces, uh, I think they look pretty cool, I'll probably find more as I keep looking, but uh, I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, again, 2014 Star Wars Command figures. First time I've come across this. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Forgotten Figures, episode 39. We're closing in on episode 40. And uh, let me know what your favorite was. Favorite one for me is, of course, this big ass rhino. Whenever I can find one of these big guys like that, I, I just I gotta get him. I think he looks amazing. And a very close second is this 1980s Adapt Driver. Uh, whenever you can find vintage Star Wars for two or three bucks, you go ahead and get them. Because I know in the secondary stores and on eBay, these go for a lot more. So. 
uh, very happy to have what I have here and I'm going to get it set out so let me know what you think uh, join up to my Instagram uh, Mike underscore area underscore 51 uh, we put something up every single day have a lot of fun there a lot of cool people and uh, we will catch you guys all in the next one area 51 home of superheroes same we'll catch you all in the next one bye bye